Welcome back. Welcome back. We're back in the duck call room. Sai's got his glasses off. It's going to be a good day. That's it. How you feeling this morning, old man? I'm feeling fine. Are you? Yep. What did your night consist of last night? I'm just curious. Not much. Watch a few westerns. Back on that grip bag. The professionals. The professionals. There you go. Okay. With Lee Marvin and uh, who else? Robert Ryan and Burt Lancaster. <laughs> A few of the old old gun gunfighters. And the best part is our fans will no doubtedly know who you're talking about. Even oh, though yeah. I the only one I recognize is Burt Lancaster. So you, you don't recognize Lee Marvin? Mm -mm. No. No, I don't I'm not one to really watch the credits though. So I mean what? he could have been in stuff I've seen and just didn't really Cat realize. Cat Ballou? It. Was it was that one where he was in? Cat Ballou? <laughs> Yes, why not? <laughs> the cat blue. I think that was the name. The cat blue what? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> well, that was your name. That was the name of the movie, Cat Blue. Oh, well, yeah, I'm just glad winter's back, man. Oh, that got man. cold out right. there, but whatever. It was so cold, I decided to go fishing yesterday because I figured nobody else would be dumb enough to go. Wrong. <laughs> well, that was, was, I one, was wrong. that was one thing I was doing. I was sitting in the house freezing to death. And then I, I asked my woman, hey, have you turned off the heat? She said, yeah, I always do when we go to bed. And I, she looked at the temperature. It was 57. Ooh. In your home? Yeah. I said, <clears throat> no wonder I'm freezing my butt off. So I think that's her trying to say, come on over here, big well, boy. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. No. Uh -oh. No. For cuddle. some canoodling. Yeah. yeah. Cuddle up next to this <laughs> redhead. No. Keep me warm. No, she just got to get her another blanket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say another husband. <laughs> Or, or, or that too. <laughs> both both to solve the problem. Well, maybe not another husband, but for sure a boyfriend. Uh, uh, well, I tell you, when I when I lost all that weight, I used to be about Johnny D size <laughs> with a big beard and everything. Looked a lot like him. I hate to say it, <laughs> but no, uh, so, so we got we got kin folks here. So your uh, mama old Joe lived across the street. Well, she ain't seen me in a while. And me and Anna were at a function over there, and Mamma Joe showed up, and and uh, she asked Corey. She said, "Did Anna get a new husband? <laughs> who is that man yeah, with who, Anna? Yeah, who's who a good-looking man with uh, with man?" So I went up and introduced myself. She just kind of looked at me, shook her head. <laughs> you don't have Stone, you bring out the brutal honesty yeah, in people. Yeah, because yo yo. Anna's grandma used to tell you you didn't wear it as well as Al. Well, that's right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. That, that gut, yeah. She said, Al carries his gut better than you do. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Stone, but the old women just come at him with all the full force of honesty they can. <laughs> oh, oh, my man. goodness. That's funny. I, that, that is bizarre. Oh, that's, yeah. Come to the, now that there's two of them. Did Anna get a new husband? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, technically she did. Pretty yeah. much. Or lost half of one. Yeah, she got one that cares. <laughs> you know, old, old Mr. Yeah. Lee told me, he said, you were one decision to live in a pathetic life. A oh, pathetic <laughs> life. Yeah. Is he, made one is decision he called to get you away from Mexico? That. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, that man's a hoot boy. Oh, no, he's a hoot. You talking yeah. about brutal honesty. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, you got to be if you're a boxing trainer right. at 70. Oh. He's 86. 80, 86. 80, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's 86 yeah. now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. And will wear you out. He ain't going to wear me out because <laughs> right. I ain't going. <laughs> you got to step in to get worn out. Yeah. Uh, uh, as far as I'm concerned, me and his past ain't got a cross. Like, uh, we'll be okay. But yeah, I started that. Uh, you heard of that? That carnivore diet? Mm hmm. Meat and fruit. Yep. I tried it? it. I've been trying it for about three weeks. Yep. My brother and sister in law were on it for quite some time. Yep. Meat, yeah. eggs, and fruit. Yeah, it's pretty effective. Huh. Yeah. You know, not just for losing weight, but inflammation. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. It, it worked wonders for them. So uh, it's a healthy, it's just a health, healthy thing. Mm -hmm. It's an meat, expensive meat meal plan. Meat, I can tell fruit. you that. Well, yeah. <laughs> the fillers are the cheap part of meals. <laughs> <laughs> I eat a lot of fruit. Yeah. You know when you when you get, start going down the meat and fruit road, that stuff gets expensive after a minute. But mm. that's huh. fine. Or you can get it all delivered to you by factor. Whatever you want to do. Well, I do all that. <laughs> you know, those boneless chicken thighs, you know. Oh man. Whoever decided to put that thing through a machine and rip that bone out of it, God bless them. It is good. Yeah, they are good. Mm. You can do a lot of stuff with them, man. It's hard to dry that that piece out, too. Mm-hmm. A chicken thigh 
It's definitely the peak of the chicken. Oh yeah, yeah. Brake pad. Yeah. It might. It. It's. Yeah. It's up there on all foods. Yeah. Oh. Actually, the chicken breast is like my least, least favorite. Least favorite. Oh, yeah. That's right. It dries. It dries. Yeah, it dries out, out too much. Yeah. And the leg too. I. I mean, I'll eat oh, him, no, but I ain't no, much no, on him. No. No. <laughs> I like I like him thighs and no, them wings. No, no, yeah. I like him flight no. gears and them brake pads. That's no, the two I want. Flight gears? I'm a leg yeah, like in that little clam okay. on on that spine. Mm. Oh, what do they call that piece? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. And 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 me and Sai arm wrestle over that pulley ball. Whenever Phil's butchering whole chicken oh, and yeah. frying them. Mm. Yep. I'd slip in there and get that first one. So I'd, just, I'd see Si in there digging. I'm like, yeah, I done got you, son. I done. <laughs> no, that reminds me I ate with, with a buddy of mine. And, and they said, uh, you know, they said, you, you probably won't like this chicken, you know. So I, I was going through it like he was talking about looking for the pudding bone. And I, I said, the next time I come over here, I said, I'm going to have to watch you cut up chicken. I said, because I can't recognize any piece of this chicken. Uh-oh. You know, and they all started laughing and then telling me, well, I, the truth is, it's rabbit. You know, she oh. said, yeah, you going to throw up now? I said, no, I ain't going to throw up. I said, hey, I'm going to tell you, hey, pass that meat platter down here. <laughs> I said, let me give you a more pieces. I said, but I was wondering, how in the world did this woman cut this thing up where I can't recognize it? It's a funny-looking chicken. Yeah, funny-looking chicken, you know. It's got big ears. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, it's got rabbit. He's on that yeah. fried rabbit. Yeah, it was good, though. Rabbit is good. Well, yeah, rabbit ain't bad, well, well, especially them back straps off a of rabbit. It's well, no, no, because hey, my favorite wild game is squirrel. You know, tree rat. Mm-hmm. He's a good one. Oh good. no, hey, I could eat a if they're young, I could eat twenty of them right now. We slowly creeping up on spring fry, squirrel hey, season too. Yeah, oh, hey, I know. fry them up and hey, hey, you know, let her rip. Hey, me and my uh, wife's brother ate twenty. Just me and him. I didn't know Christine had a brother. Uh, oh yeah, he was uh, he was a submarine man. Mm. Oh, okay, submarine. down yeah. periscope. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, down periscope. And I said, no, nah, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Just think, hey, think about living underwater for a solid month. No, I ain't got no gills. Mm -mm. No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wouldn't out. make it I, yeah I, <clears throat> they submerged and did not come up for I one went, solid month i remember we was a kid went on some field trip somewhere that that had a submarine you could walk through and even as a little husky feller that's right i shopped in that section of the store husky, <laughs> husky. Well, husky before they tall, called yeah. it big and tall yeah. i was just big i wasn't yeah. tall yet <laughs> but didn't they have a brand of jeans called huskies mm -hmm. oh yeah oh yeah 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 that's just make you feel better about yourself that was the that was the og relax fit yeah, that's right. OG, OG relax. That, way, that way it wasn't them stranglers grabbing them thighs son on those big boys oh husky. but that way you didn't start a fire walking down the hall at school. But um, <laughs> hey, I can make all the big kid jokes. I was one of them. So, um, but no, we've hopped in one of them submarines, and I just remember thinking, how in the world did grown men fit in here? Like, I, I, it just it didn't make no sense to me. Is your brother in law a small fella? Huh? He's short. Yeah. Yeah. I just couldn't. I, make it. I well, always thought it'd be kind of cool because you saw them on the movies and cartoons and stuff. You're like, man, being in a submarine, that'd be tight, underwater, driving nope, around. Nope. Then I got in that one. I said, no, uh -uh, no, no. Oh. I think I'll stay on top of the water. That ship out there is way cooler than the submarine. <laughs> like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good, man. I'm, I'm okay. But hmm. that is something. But I, you said a lot there about yourself, Sai, because we know you. Well, no, no, no. As a cherry picker. Well, no, no. So I, when you go to digging through the meat pile oh, yeah. for the pulley bone, you pick all the sausage out of red beans. What you didn't know about me was is that I liked it when in the Navy. My father was in the Navy. Yeah. Okay. I liked it when in the Navy, too. You know, and yes, alcohol was involved. <laughs> On going in the Navy or the yeah, Army? Yeah, no, I ain't going, ain't going, okay? Okay. <laughs> I ended, liked, ended up in, in the Navy and also the Marines. And both times, you know, alcohol was consumed and involved in it, you know. <laughs> so, hey, like, like I said, but hey, I just said, no, nah, nah, I like to swim. I said, but I just can't see being on the ocean where, no, nah, okay, okay, you like to swim, all right. You know? Sider got written up every day for fishing off the back of that oh, boat. Oh, no, I'm telling you. Every day. He'd have had some fish. I, 
I kind of wish you would have, because there ain't no telling what kind of fish stories we'd have. There ain't no telling oh, no. what you'd have hooked off the coast of Panama. Yeah, that's but, trolling right but, there, son. <laughs> I, had, I, had, look, I, I met a guy. I met a guy in the navy, and he he got a a picture of him on a destroyer. Okay, which is a big ship. Mm-hmm. Okay, and he was the uh, radar. He was you know the commun- communication specialist, and he's got a picture of him. On top of the whatever it is on the, on the destroyer, and and rough seas, and when I say rough seas, that's an understatement. <clears throat> He's on top of it, okay, and the ship is in a swell, and he is just the ship is going, and he's running his hands on the waves as that ship rolls. Mm-mm. Okay, from side to side to side, this thing is like this. In a swell. I think you chose well then. Oh, no. I don't oh, yeah. think you'd have done very good. Oh, no, good no. In that. I wouldn't have done very good in, in the Navy. I've seen you on them deep sea boats yeah. and you got no. patches. Oh, and no. Yeah. Burnt, air conditioning. And... Yeah. Burnt legs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, no. Land man, me in the ocean would have not got along well. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, let's, so, take hey. our, let's take our first break. Uh, hey, we'll, that's, a, that's a winner. We'll go get some coffee. That's no, right. I'm kidding. Hey, Don't no, I ain't coffee. going to get no coffee. I'm fixing to hit this. How's your lunches been lately? It is fantastic. I never have to leave work. I never have to, like, drive in the car. I don't sit in line nowhere. Uh, every Monday morning, I get a box full of delicious meals delivered straight to the store, pop them in the uh, toaster oven for nine minutes. Boom. So I'm, you're saying... Your lunch has gone up by a factor. A factor. Of 10. Oh, oh, it's and it's delicious. I had, <laughs> what I have yesterday? Red pepper queso chicken. That one's solid. It yeah. was good. 520 calories or something like yeah. that. Saving money, saving calories, saving time, saving effort. It's the, it, I love it. My mom's in on it now. Hey. When she you, makes me order extra for her. When you got infants at home, it's a great deal because you don't get to cook much. So you can pop in a home-cooked meal. It's in the microwave, good. two minutes, really good. You're a, a microwave them, man. I'm an oven man. A lot of them leave you wishing you had more. So <laughs> if you don't have as much time as Cy, because you're too busy at work, you're too busy oh, raising oh, kids, oh, oh. you're not retired, oh, y'all got, and y'all you need kids. an easy way for good mood, Factor <laughs> is the one for you. With Factor, skip the trip to the grocery store and skip the chopping, prepping, and cleaning up too. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. So all you have to do is heat up and enjoy. No matter your lifestyle, Factor has delicious meals. To help you live to the fullest with keto, calorie smart, vegan plus veggie, and protein plus options on the menu each week. Look, I've tried a ton of them. I just go through there, and whichever one strikes my fancy. You get mm-hmm. to look at a picture of it, and you're like, "Yeah, let's let's run that one back." The and app is easy to use and fantastic. Absolutely. And I, I got a free reward the other day. Did you? Yeah, that's like, awesome. I got some bratwurst sent to me because I've ordered so many. Hey, that's good. Look <laughs> at you. And plus, if you need to skip a week, it's super simple. Like if you're gonna be on vacation, you don't want your food sitting on your porch. It's super simple. Click of a button, you pause it for a week, come back, and you're ready to go. It is that simple. Get Factor and enjoy clean eating without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh flavor-packed meals delivered to your door. Ready in just two minutes. No prep. No mess. Head to factormeals.com slash duck50 and use code duck50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code duck50 at factormeals.com slash duck50 to get 50% off your first box. Me and Cy did the unashamed podcast oh. yesterday mm. and it was good i gave him my little bit i gave a little bit on this podcast though well, they about, wanted an update from our yeah. trips hunting fishing trips and whatnot on new way to look at what what how would you describe god to people Oh yeah, we talked about that yeah. on yeah. the last yeah. podcast. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. where that came from. Yeah, that's what it came you were, from. You were you were in deep pondering. Al, no, no, Al done a lesson, and every time Al does a lesson, he he triggers something in my brain cells, <laughs> and then the rest of the night I'm wrestling, you know, not going to sleep. Well, you know, Al uh, preaches at our church, you know out of the goodness of his heart he's a great preacher Mm -hmm. we have we have a couple other people that preach too and i've noticed that the only time phil stays for the sermon is when al's (laughs) preaching (laughs) 
<laughs> Daddy ball. Daddy. No. Well, and I yeah. noticed it here lately. Uh, it's a family thing. Here lately, same same trend with Cy. Yeah, look, if if Al's not preaching, I look at Cy ain't there. Yeah. No, I, I was out of town, though. Oh, was that what it was? Yeah, okay. I was out of town. I went to uh, Miami. He's tuning in online. <laughs> with my yeah. uh, flowers, generals.com. You know, goodwill, <laughs> goodwill uh, ambassador. He was out there. Si was out there peddling camo right, roses. Right. Oh, so, yeah. right. They actually have got camo roses. Huh. See, yeah, they can. Yeah. See, I pay attention to what the boys do. Oh no, no, no! Hey, it, that was pretty true. You know. So I always have to make sure because I know no. inevitably after you do that and post something about or Philip post about it that. Monday or Tuesday, we're going to get phone calls. How do I get that? That's right. Hey, like, there you go. hey man, hey. check those well, books look, out. Well, look, he's a good ambassador to a lot of things. Hey, you say, can never hey, line, he, he has held the title Goodwill, Goodwill ambassador, ambassador. Hey. for multiple companies. Well, look, hey, you a, ought to be a I'm CEO. I'm a Goodwill person. Yeah. You, you need to get the new title, CEO, Chief Entertainment Officer. There you go. Because that's what you are. No. You bring goodwill no, and morale and well, entertainment I, that, to these was, places and I ain't was, got none. That's right. I was the <laughs> ra- ra- morale man in the military. And you still are. Okay. Well, well I'm, I, I've noticed yeah. in that in the um the um museum over there, mm-hmm. the tour, every picture you see of Cy when he was in the military. Everybody around him is laughing, mm-hmm. and he's laughing, and he's got a silver can in his hand. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Well, every right. time he's a good right. ambassador. That's right. Well, I used to have a Tupperware glass, and the only thing you would hear when there was formation time, Robertson, put that stupid glass up, <laughs> and I'd say, "Top, I'm gonna get it when this time." Yeah. And I'd, I'd stick it in my fatigue pocket. <laughs> and hey, full of ice and tea. Never spilt a drop. And never spilt a drop. And hey, when the <laughs> formation was over with, hey, time for tea. Break, How long boy. had ice last in Vietnam? Uh, no, hey, that was a problem over there. Okay. <laughs> was, that was a problem. There, 100, 115 degrees, okay? That's when you wish they'd have had these stainless tumblers oh, back no. in. You could have actually That's held it. you some hey, ice look, in. I'd have had, if I'd have had this Yeti cup then, I'd have been in good shape. There boy. you go. Might not have fit in your pocket. Thing, hey, you'd have needed a bigger keep, pocket. Keeps ice all day long. You'd have needed to order britches my size to hold that in your pocket. Oh, though. no, no. My mom asked me, are oh, they feeding you? I'll send her a picture of me. Yeah. I worked out in the yard, and I didn't have no – had a great tan. Okay, I'm looking. Boy, them days of long No, 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 no. Look, yeah. Uh, hey, I was probably about the color of that E3 board. The dark spot, okay, mm-hmm. and skinny as a rail. Mama said, are they feeding you over there? And I said, yeah, my mama eating. I said, I'm working hard, though. About 12, 12, 18 hours a day, you know, hey, you lose weight. Yeah. Especially in the heat over here. Especially when you only get three naps. Uh, hey, well, hey. Every oh, day. no, I, hey. I'm the only man I know that pulled it off. I got a nap every day. Okay? In Vietnam. And hey, and served 24 and a half years, and I got a nap every day, boys. Try that, that on. For that's five. impressive. Hey, hey. You deserve a medal for that. So you got a nap in Nam, too? I, I, oh, yeah. Hey, I got where I could <clears throat> sleep with my eyes open. Oh, boy. You think I was awake and looking at you? No, I'm sound asleep. Oh, While my, driving hey, a decent I'm, house. I'm, I, I'm in La La Land. <laughs> my wife does that. <laughs> Sleep and, and, and bullfrog. <laughs> they sleep like this. <laughs> no. <laughs> yep. <laughs> My kids do it. I, I was wondering where they got that from. Uh, now I know. Uh, I'll look, I'll it's a look deep on, Robertson uh, look, yeah. look, I'll look on that monitor at night, and them kids' eyes will be over. Hey. You can see their eyes, and then I look at that little thing on their foot, and it says, resting peacefully. You got to get rest when you can, boys. Yeah. Uh, you, know, you never know when they're going to jump out. Of the I don't think you've you. ever been a fighter at any point of your life. <laughs> but, well, you this one previous that. or past yeah, yeah, or whatever, yeah, like yeah. or future. Yeah, I don't, you know. To, you will make love, not war kind that's of right. fella. Hey, you know, yeah. fight, you got to get mad. Yeah. You know, I, no. I ain't got time to get As mad. As a man who's been mad about three times in his life, yeah. I don't think no, that fits on, you. only twice. Mm-hmm. twice. Okay. Only twice. Only twice. There you go. Okay. So we know about one of them. I don't know what the other one is. Yeah, but yeah. Hey. I don't think I want it now. I no. Like, I like the one to the pen over that one. Uh-oh. That wasn't a bowling ball uh, one? 
Oh, uh, yeah, that was it. I like oh, the ones. I I knew, the, we knew the bowling. Yeah, the bowling I, bowling. Hey, I like the ones that depend on that. Yeah. Somebody, somebody liked to die. Yeah, we knew the bowling one. I was just wondering. I, I don't think I need to know what the other one yeah, is. I've, I've seen right him get perturbed a couple. Now, the other time was when Jason, Jason. accused him of wearing yeah. all those ducks. Yeah. And, and, I he, he finally, reason, and I was the only reason they come up. Oh, is that counting your two? Oh, is that one of the two? Uh, well, that may have been because hey, oh, we, we was nose to nose. Oh, and you I was thought, mad. I thought me and my nephew was fixed to go to Fifth City. Oh, I'm aware. I was there. Okay. You, you were mad. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. Well, I've had enough of it. Yeah. Hey, I'm with <laughs> okay. you. Okay. You know, hey, there's only I'm, so much of that crap you well, can take no, sometimes. Hey, look, you got to understand. I've had this my entire life in the duck blind. Just picked on. Yeah, just picked on, you know. He snapped. You know, this is from, from infancy to, you know, <laughs> to 75 years old, and I'm still putting up with it. You know? And one day you snapped? Oh, and I, I finally just I broke. Boy. Was there Were people taking sides? Uh, oh, no. Oh, hey, yeah. This is the only time that Phil Robertson has ever said, hey, get your butt over here. We're fixing to have a serious meeting. I just got real quiet, but rest assured, yeah. had something happened, I'm going with the old man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just, I hate to take because I was right beside him and he was the only one getting chewed out, and I'm right beside him out there in the water helping him pick up decoy. But Cy, they were only mad at Cy, I guess, because I got down. I mean, I don't, and the only I, did reason, get, I did get down. I took hey, water into my waders. I got down hey, so low. But, look, the only thing that was above water was right here. Yeah, just I, my shoulders and head. The only and thing, I was I was by a little buck brush bush. So we gotta put this in context. So there is a hundred mallards coming. <laughs> a hundred. That that they've heard me throwing decoys for fifteen minutes. And size in the middle of the hole and they, they come to light the decoys and they see Cy and they flare. Yeah. Well that's that and Jason incited didn't, the argument between yeah. Cy and Jason. Jason didn't kill but one and I told him, I said, Hey, why didn't you kill the sixty that was 20, 60 yards instead of killing the one Drake compared to 150. <laughs> I was uh, there. That's what, that's what Is made this on there. film? Did the cameraman keep rolling? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, huh. Jeff but, got it. And nobody knows where all the footage is. Uh. <laughs> that footage well, here, here's, here's the other thing. <laughs> Ain't no reason to see here's it because the there's thing. a lot of holes in this story as oh, the yeah. man who was there. Yeah, because there wasn't <laughs> It a, wasn't 100. Yeah, there wasn't yeah, it was, a, one It was man. about 40. It was about 40. Here was the thing, too. And there about wasn't. 10 of them was trying to get in there, and Jace yeah. raised up and clipped one of the 30 that said, no, I don't think so. Yeah. On his yeah. third shot, yeah, which at, I think is at, really what made him mad. Yeah, but he should have killed. Three for three. Okay. And he turned I, the wrong way. Yeah, I don't know what the two other idiots that was in the blind were doing that had shotguns in their hands. Uh, they didn't shoot. I was one of them. <laughs> I was okay. About to say, who yeah. were the two Let's other go. idiots? Yeah. yeah, this gets him you know, and Johnny G. Yeah. This No gets, guy this was is taking just, a leap. You know, oh yeah, he was uh, hanging off the I, back of the blind. I was <laughs> I was I was the only one. No, Al was in there. Yeah, oh, no. There was, there was yeah. only guns. The whole crew was there, though. There was only. And there I was, was out there with Sire picking up plugs because I can't watch a 65 year old man pick up decoys there by you himself. Yeah. You know? Right. But like, I was, like always, okay. Hey, right. the first thing assessment, uh, blame has got to be assessed. Mm -hmm. So when there wasn't no ducks killed, okay, a mauling, <clears throat> someone has got to take the blame. And guess who they jumped on? Me. So I said, I got tire tracks all up and down my back. Yeah. Oh, right. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you know, it, oh, no. Hey, you don't know how many times I've had to throw that bus off of my body. Because, yeah. hey, they pulled it up on top of me, shut it off, and left. You were bucking that sucker that day, son. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. Nah, we don't need to go back down negative roads, though. Let's take uh, a break. We'll oh, be back right man. after that. That is a good story. It is. You know it was worth one point three billion dollars. Mint, Mint, Mint mobile. mobile. You want to know why? Because <laughs> it saves you money and people love it, and it's a fantastic product. Just ask old Hunter over there; he got it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Look, just think if that's what the value of Mint Mobile was, and you're paying fifteen dollars a month, how many people are doing it? Don't get left behind. Yep. Don't get left behind. That's what I'm saying. Look, it is that easy. All you do is pop out your SIM card, put theirs in, go online. You don't have to go anywhere. Use your phone. And it's that simple. And plans start at just $15 a month. It doesn't get any easier than that. It's easier to say than that because Hunter did it. And that's wild. Like, it, 
Hey, do y'all know him? Look at him. Oh, yeah, you can't see him. Uh, but he's, he's over there. We love you, buddy. But, he's he's but if you can't see him and he can do it, that's how easy it is. That's, you can be invisible. It, Sign up this that easy. I mean, it does not matter. For people looking for extra savings this year, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless, but just for 15 bucks a month. By going online only and eliminating the traditional cost of retail, Mint Mobile passes significant savings on to you. All plans come with unlimited talk and text and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. You can use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and switch easily in minutes with eSIM. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just $15 a month. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash duck. That's mintmobile.com slash duck. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash duck. Hey. Si watched the Oscars. Did, Did you really? Si watched watch the Oscars. Si watched the Oscars. I watched the Oscars. The Oscars. The Oscars. See, I don't. I Not mean, only Oscar, Martin, you should watch is The Grouch. The grout. Oh, yeah. They're on their diapers. There you go. Yeah. That's way better than the regular Oscars. Yeah, one of them's got or, Oscar the Grouch like right there on the crotch. I laugh every time. <laughs> every time I put them on, it, old Oscar just sitting there staring at me. Yeah. One of them's Oscar, and the other one's Cookie Monster. I'm like, yeah, that's a pretty good placement Oscar, for both of y'all. Cookie Monster like, and Cookie Monster. So you, what did you learn about the Oscars? It ain't much. It ain't much, boys. Mm. What, what? No, I, the only thing I learned about it, hey. Is you know the dresses what that, won anything that the women wear? Top Gun got ripped off because it's the greatest movie. Oh, ever. what what did they say about that? Well, they was talking about how they good won it was. uh like best sound. Oh, good grief! That only matters to like seven people. Yeah, in the world. Clearly not Hunter because we'll yeah, maybe mm-hmm. you ever listen to this one. Hunter. <laughs> we're never gonna win best sound as long well, as I'm right. here. We're Hunter. never gonna win. I'm gonna you're keep never going gonna, up and down. Well, you're never gonna win as long as size here too. Oh, whoa! Well, hey, ah, look, I whoa. am the sound maker, boy. <laughs> hey, what are you talking about? Size, the human Doppler effect. Whoa, hey, the sound maker. Ooh, like that's just what he does. But what was like? What what they say the best film was? Because what I always not get, Top Gun. That's all I know. What what I always get I tickled over is generally the best film I've never seen. Almost year. I've never heard of. Yeah, there you go. Everything, everywhere, all at once. And Hunter's over there crying, saying it's so good. Rated R. Everything, For sci-fi everywhere, and adventure. all at once. That about covers it. Never heard of it or any of the people in yep. it. Everything. Really? I think I've heard of her. Who? I don't know. It has uh, short round in it. Short round. The dude from the movie. Yeah. From Indiana Jones. Yeah. Mr. Jones. <laughs> That's the one with Han Solo. What's his name? Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford. There it is. I just know him as Han Solo. <laughs> the fugitive. Han Solo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, I don't understand the Oscars, but yeah. so I watched it. I don't know who votes on it, but I guess they make it a big deal. You what? What do you think, Sai? Like what? What like was that? It wasn't much. What was your take home <clears throat> from it? You were you. Jimmy could, Kimball was pretty good. Jimmy Kimball. Yeah, he did he the, host it or something? He was the host. Oh, okay. There you go. No, yeah, he was pretty good. Well, that's your buddy. You've been right, on Kimball yeah, show. Yeah, right. <laughs> Back in the day. Oh man. But that's for the. Oh, that's for that's for. SAG. I should have went. What? It's for the SAG, the Screen Actors Guild. I'm a member. Screen. Not Actors. technically am I a member. But you, I was in a movie once. You didn't in a movie yet. once. You didn't fill out the card? I don't know. They sent me a check. There you go. Because I'm in a movie. Have I told you I'm in a movie? Cool. <laughs> Size in the movie, too. Oh. They sent me a check. Did, you, did anybody see it? <laughs> see what? Some people have seen the movie. What movie? Phil's movie. Oh, The Blind? The Blind. I'm in it. Oh, yeah. I got a link to watch it. Is it out? I, no, well, like September, like very That's few people have gotten to see it. You've yeah. seen it? Yeah. Am I in it? Yeah. Or did they cut me? I thought they were going to cut me. <laughs> he made it. Boys. What were you? He made uh, it cut. Hunter number one or maybe number two. Hunter number one, Hunter number two. Hey, you got that. He's got the look. So is that Hunter number three? Yeah. Hunter, um, Hunter the producers. Hunter. Hey, I had I showed up and thought like I didn't know what it was going to be like. Where'd y'all hunt? It was a very big deal. Where'd y'all hunt? 
I mean, you don't remember. Come on, man. I just like to. We were acting. The best part is, is Hunter number two, you shot the ducks that I shot. <laughs> so I am I guess I'm in the movie, but it's just the mallards I killed. Uh, uh, I, you the, don't see me. But you're the stunt man. Yeah. Well, I was the. <laughs> Somebody I, had to kill him. This is well, going to come as a shock to you, but I, I was the guy that wasn't the good hunter that went with Phil. So you were, you played Cy. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> There's some tire I tracks again. See what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it for, for the ones that come in to the family. Oh, boy. I'll tell you. Did you have to blow a duck call? Please tell me yes. No. No. He, oh, but no. The, uh, but uh, so the dude that plays Phil, he's, he walks up to me. He is straight up English. Yeah. Like British. British, what, what? Uh, uh, well, let's again. not go down well, that road. Here we go off, again. <laughs> yeah, how did he pull off the, the speaking? Oh, yeah. he, he turned into a redneck. Oh, in, a redneck. In an okay, all right. And I was, I was like, just wondering, what is happening? It was a wild check. ride. Yeah. yeah, the first time they brought him up here to show him the office, he introduced himself. I shook his hand. I said, "Well, okay, good luck." <laughs> he was good at it. Yeah, he I'll, was a super nice dude, though. We hung out for a very long time that day. Yeah. You know, for me to deliver my one line. But there's one, he gets mad at me, kind of, and he stared into my eyes, and it went straight through me. Yeah. It was scary. <laughs> What'd you say? Uh, I asked him, well, I, well, hey, whoa, go see it in theaters in September, and you'll find out. Uh, this isn't a spoiler alert. What'd you say? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't know that your line has any outcome on oh, the movie. It, oh, so. it's a big, oh, it's, it's a big deal. Spoiler huh? alert. He ends up making duck calls, and he turns his life around to Jesus, but... Are you going to take your kids to see this movie? I don't know. To see if dad's in it? Like, hey, kids, we're, we're there. You know what else just happened the other day? What? See, that reminded me. Uh -oh. My kids just found out about Duck Dynasty, and I just kind of thought they knew. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I could see where you'd make that assumption about a seven-year-old. Right. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. I just thought they They're would. They're not into it. Look, no. So we're on vacation, and the TV's weird. And all of a sudden, it's like there's this one channel, it's just Duck Dynasty all the time. And I flip Send it us on our there. Check. And Carter's like, "What? What's happening? I know all these people. <laughs> what's happening?" I and he's, his mind's blown. I said, "Buddy, it's Duck Dynasty." And he goes, "What's Duck Dynasty?" I said, no. "The show, like everybody you know was on." No. And he was like, "Never heard." Of Willie's it. famous. Yeah, never heard. I of said. It. Yeah, buddy, <laughs> Willie's famous. That's yeah. why you walk around his golf course. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, it was the funniest uh, thing. Hilarious. It was the Hawaii episode. We watched uh, it. Uh, oh, sigh on a segue. Well, hey. Sigh on a segue. Oh, I flipped and busted my butt off that thing. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. You talk about get out from under you and get out from under you in a hurry. That thing, none of that stuff that drives without handlebars makes yeah. sense to me. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't get it. I thought I had it. And then, no, I just thought that's bad. I thought that's the problem. Like them little hoverboards oh, them kids no, ride around sir. on. Oh, how, no. But how they do that mess? I, I don't even trust to not. I, I put a foot on one one time and the thing started yeah. moving. I said, "Nope." Oh I'm no! Out. <laughs> uh -uh. Anything with mm. just two wheels, bad news. You're gonna end up in a cast. Oh yeah. What about a you're bicycle? You're gonna get hurt. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, hey, yo, no. You don't ride bicycles? Look, no. no. Hey, look. The bicycle was bad enough. Then they took it a bicycle and put a motor on it and a big motor. And it will go like 120 miles an hour. Oh, yeah. They got no, some little motors that. on them now that'll go 33, and that oh. is way too fast. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. I had no. a scooter for a minute. No, no. I had Remember a buddy. Scooter? Scooter? I had a buddy in, Did in, you really? in, in high school. Yeah, looking like, looking like Howard Wallowitz off Big Bang yeah. Theory. Some yeah. guy at the Honey Hole was like, told my daddy he had some scooter he needed to get rid of, so we got an excellent deal on it. I rode a scooter one time. And he got. With Gerald Twindle. We need to have Gerald on here. Let him tell that story. Then we'll get you killed, too. I can't tell you the story because it's got a little bit of coarse language in it, but Jared, no. Gerald say it, no problem. No. So. Well, I, the gas, <laughs> like in 2008-ish, 9-ish, gas was like super expensive like it is now. Yeah, like a dollar eighty. No, it was, <laughs> it, was the, it was like the first time it got wild. My dad was like, hey, got you a deal. 70 miles a gallon on that hog. And I rode it to, I rode it when I worked at the uh, Super One Foods. I would rise. Yeah. I had me a big old helmet. See, I rented one of them things in Key West the first time we went because that's like what you do in Key West. 
I made the first turn and about ran into a shop. I said, I parked it right there, told them where it's at, said, y'all come get Yo, that Y'all thing. come get this I said, <laughs> I said, if y'all have heard of a thing called Uber, y'all have it now. There's no reason to have a scooter. Is that what here. they do in Key West, right? Scooters? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, like, that's what the tourists do. You rent a scooter, and like that's all you see around there. Mine went like 50. Your boy found Uber. And, and it was said, scary. No, nah, I'm out. Oh, yeah, that thing would fly. I'm telling you, me and Gerald Swindle rode it like 12 miles from the marina back to the house one night at like 2 a.m. <laughs> we had been tarpon fishing under them bridges at night, and I'm scared to death. I'm like, hey, Gerald, Uber's like 15 minutes out. He said, no, nah, man, I brought my scooter. Get on. I yeah. Uh-uh. And of my course, scooter. there I went. He gave me his backpack. I look like a freaking Ninja Turtle sitting up there on top of him, a little tiny backpack. And I'm just holding on to him like this. Like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> my scooter days in, there was a pretty bad motorcycle wreck on my route. Oh, no. I rode my scooter on. And I said, mm. they're dangerous. And so now I I have a philosophy on moving vehicles that I, if I'm going to get in a wreck, my vehicle is going to be bigger than yours. Yeah. I want to win. Then my four. wife's vehicle is going to be bigger. Like we, we go big now. Four, yeah. four tires. Safety first. Two. Uh, three tires are better than two. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. no four. <laughs> well, four is better than three, but hey, I'm just saying yeah. three is better than two. Yeah, two is no, better no. than one if you want to go down that yeah. unicycle road. Yeah. But like, I tried a unicycle once. didn't work. <laughs> no. yeah. I know uh, a guy, though. Well, there you go. <laughs> Let's take a break. We'll be back right after this. Si, if you were in a circus, what would you be? We don't went down a unicycle road now. I'm just wondering. Well, no, I, I, the first, thing, the first thing I thought of was like clowns. And I, like, I would just fix that. I was in a circus. I was a clown. Wait. Yeah, you were right. what? Are you uh, serious? Yeah. Back up. Hey. You don't seem fat know. enough to be a clown. I thought uh, clowns you know were what? like big and jolly. Hey, you were in a no. circus? Yeah, I was in a circus. That? Like Ringling Brothers? The Dynasty Circus. Oh. oh. That's lame, <laughs> Buzzkill. <laughs> I thought we were about to hear a story from like the seventies, yeah. yeah. where Cy si had a part-time uh, gig. Hey, at yeah. least make one up. Crap, you don't no, have it. Hey. Like you could have like talked well, about the bearded hey. lady or something. Well, no, no, really I, was I, your cousin. Hey, there. I was in a circus. I was in a rodeo. I used to be a rodeo man. Well, I was in the rodeo with you and had well, to wrestle hey. that stupid steer. Well, no, no, I'm telling you, I'm talking about for real. Wow. Oh, well, I got a picture of I you. I grew dressed up in a rodeo. You no. grew up in one. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Hey, my whole life I've been riding horses, okay? My heroes were, were Western people. Well, I've always been cowboys, huh, Willie? That's right. Hey, yeah. I've always been a cowboy. Yeah, well, we did that last segment yesterday <laughs> on the Unashamed podcast. They called it the overtime segment. Uh, Al said, all right, Dad, we need to do this overtime segment. Phil said, I don't have time. <laughs> and Al looked at him and said, you don't? He said, Matt Dillon. <laughs> Matt Dillon, boy, Matt. <laughs> because they haven't seen that. Well, That's no, right. no. But he asked me, Al asked me a question about the movie that JD was talking about. That you know, Phil's in coming, and I said, "Well, hey, how would you like to air your dirty laundry to the world in a movie? Everything that you've ever did that was stupid and wrong and you know ignorant. How about just okay? Let's show the whole world." You know, my dirty lungs. Well, here's what I can tell you. We couldn't get it done in an hour and a half. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Ain't that true? My no. list is a little more extensive to be able to get done in an hour and a half. Mm. Documentary, well, they, maybe. Well, they had about four hours, but then they cut it down to, you know, and they had a rough time doing it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. I'm just saying. But it's quite the testimony. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm in a church. Just how would you like for everything you've done that was wrong and stupid? No. How would you like it? Okay, let me show you my life. Problem of mine is this still being written. <laughs> well, yeah. well, hey. Yeah. We don't, we we waiting on season four at this point. At or what something. point <laughs> of your life do you ever get to where you don't do stupid things anymore? I ain't there yet. Uh, si? Nope. I ain't. I'm seventy four going on seventy five. No, it ain't over. Yeah, I still hey, do plenty of stupid things. You know when I'm going to stop doing stupid things? When you're in the ground? When I'm dead. Yeah. Okay. That's the bottom. That's the answer to that. And the last stupid thing I'll do is right before I die. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope it's not skydiving. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Just, just, Watch yeah. this. No. Oh, man. I'll, I'll take him out in the middle of that sanctuary and drop him off. Yeah. Just turn him loose. Boom, bow, boom, bow. Boom, 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 boom. 
And we'll stage people halfway with box of, new boxes of shells. You just work your way to them. Yeah. <laughs> guess, guess what just thought entered my head right there? Uh, there is no possible oh, way we I, could guess. Hey, I, I may I may turn into a nebbler. Okay. And a nebbler? Just, yeah. And just become a gas cloud. You kind of already are. Yeah. <laughs> I've spent enough time in hotels and duck dance uh, with you. You ain't much different now. If you ain't burping, you farting anyway. So that's I mean, right. He's a nebbler. You're either burping, farting, or peeing. So yeah, I mean, I don't, I I you're a right, gas cloud right. mixed with a little little I'm water. Right. And lemon right. packets. <laughs> yeah. Acid. Oh, oh man. Oh. It uh, is fun with friends like these, right? Johnny D, you got any? How, what we got in the mailbag? We got we got enough to oh, start right here, oh, and then yeah. we'll carry on in. Take your pick. Yeah, let's start. Let's start lighthearted on this I one since we're laughing. Then them. if we want to get heavy, yeah. we can. But. Well, I got a great one. Okay, all right. That I think proves that we're maturing as a podcast. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Micah asked, "What happened to Size Bell? He hadn't heard in a while, Hello. and it's been sitting right there." Hello. We just use it Still for very there. special occasions like this. Yeah. Philip does it more often than Cy now. That is true. Philip, whenever he thinks he says something funny, has to ding himself. Oh, That's what's funny. Oh, like he's calling his own jokes. He's even he's like, ha ha. And I'm like, he's getting ready for well, it. You, well, can't, hey, you can't ding yourself. Like, that's true. Not, you can. Well, if I nobody mean, else will ding for you, hey, ding it yourself. Yeah. Ding, well, dang, dong. Right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I wish I still had my bongo bells that my wife got rid of. I, I honestly wish you did. I did. Hey, no, hey, I'm serious. I, I would actually lock them up after every afternoon I used them. Mm. Yeah, she, bongo threw, bells. she threw them away. Bongo bells. And then I got another interesting one from Instagram. So Instagram, baby. Every once in a while, I realized that we're – Maybe North Louisiana is a lot different than most places on this earth, and we say things that think we think are just normal, and people get confused by them. So Stuart has a question. Uh, he's from Monroe, Wisconsin. Oh. Uh, oh. I say, come on, Stewie. Gotcha. Slide uh, on over here. And we talk about uh, dressing a lot, and he doesn't know what that is. Because and he's just assuming when we talk about duck and dressing, we're not talking about duck and ranch. So he needs some. He he doesn't think it's ranch, but he's wondering if it's like gravy. No, nah, Stewie, I believe the people in your part of the world would potentially call it stuffing. Yeah, stuffing. We call it dressing because we don't actually like stuff the critters with it necessarily. We put them in a bath of it and let it all cook together, but. I think that's what the further north you go, yeah, dressing it's, it's, is referred to as a stuffing. A stuffing. Because when they slice the bird, like it all comes out as one piece. Well, you said, well, let's get rid of that, sit the bird in there, build it around it, and then you just get you a spoonful of dressing and a piece of bird and call it good. Like a casserole almost. Mm. Mm. Yeah. No, it's not a casserole. No, not a casserole. Because I, I eat dressing. <laughs> Oh, you can call it. I, I ain't much on them. I ain't much on them casseroles. Well, no, no, I, I, okay. Now, Nan makes a corn casserole that's fine, it but is there's good. like two ingredients. The problem with most casseroles is there's always some a unidentified casserole. objects in it, and I'm that's like, it. is that just because it was in the refrigerator? <laughs> like, no, Sai called me not too long ago. He said, "Get over here quick, hurry up." Yeah. And I said, "You all right?" He said, "Bon, hung up." I thought, "Good night." I thought something's wrong. I pulled him in the driveway. He, he opened the door. He said, come in here and try this uh, duck and dressing. <laughs> oh, Lord. He said, this is an emergency. I'd made, I'd made two of them. And look, I had just I woke up that night, you know, and I said, I, I, Mama used to put uh, a can of uh, sweet and condensed pet milk. milk. Yeah. Pet not, milk. Not pet milk. It's just uh, the real sweet, uh, sweet flavor. Sweet condensed oh, milk. Yeah. 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 Anyway, I, you know, I just it, I had a dream. I said, Mama put some at it. So I made two batches, one without it, one with it. And I asked us a stone art shot my dress to see if it's any good. He said, Well, this ain't bad. He said, But you put too much uh, onions, bell pepper, and all that in. And I said, Well, I said, Fields are always light. So I, I made mine a little heavy. And he said, In this other one, he said, You put too much sugar or something, it's too sweet. Too much sugar. And I said, Well, okay, that didn't work. 
Yeah. My, uh, evidently, the dream was wrong. Mama did put condensed milk in it. Yeah, it was a valiant effort, though. I was yeah. shocked when yeah. I saw that, that pan of dressing. I hey. just am lost in but the, the one with world the... of what wakes up. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, hey. But I was a little bit nervous. I thought something done happened. You know? Nah, that's what them Robertsons are. Well, no, no, because hey, the they older... panic about things that oh, there's no, no need to be yeah. panicking oh, about, no, and no. things you should mildly <laughs> oh, panic no, you about. Move, you then a man move. has a heart attack, and says, "No, leave me here on this stump. I'll be all right." I'll yeah, be all right. yeah, yeah. Just go I on. mean, go yeah, on. but oh, but you got to get here now to try this dressing. Try it. Now, right. hey, but no, I just ate some tamales last night. I'll be fine. Like, that's, Ooh, I was that's, some... that's him in I a nutshell. I've like, never heard the tamale tamales, huh? Well, that's what he said. He said he had heartburn. He ate something the night four. Yeah. He was just blaming it on heartburn, like Wait, tamales or something. Didn't the dog have a heart attack the same day? Who, old Merlin? No, that uh, oh. the hunting dog. Which one? That, uh, no, it Phil, was a black Phil, lab. Yeah, Phil's dog uh, had it. Went out with Jace. I worked him too hard. And uh, I heard a yelp. Uh, yeah, Remember worked that? him Were too hard. Were you there for that? Mm. The dog had a heart attack, I think, the same day si did. Yeah. That seems to be All most right. of the cases of dogs and Jace together. So, but how long? Good night. That was what twenty years ago. Yeah, that's been a well. It was, right, it was right before I started working no, here. Maybe twenty years ago. I mean, yeah. I had my heart attack two thousand five. Well. Uh, 18, 18, yeah. 18 years <laughs> Yeah, good ago. night. That ain't been 20. Well, I, only 18. Get it right. Well, that's right. 18 years. Was. Okay. That's right. crazy that it's 20 years from 2003. It's crazy that oh, somebody, my. well, it's crazy that somebody born in 2005 can vote now when Cy si had a heart attack. I mean, that's that's wild. Like, oh, 20 years since, two, oh, man, it's like my 20 year high school reunion. Look Ooh. at you. Good night. I ain't hey, going. Everybody's nope. going. Everybody, going. Everybody getting long with the tits around this joint, boys. Mm, getting old. old. <laughs> mm, Lord have mercy. But let's take our last break. We'll finish off that mailbag right after this. All right, Johnny D. Let's keep going. Hello at duckcallroom.com. I don't know if we mentioned like that. For all I like the it, boys. He's going to roll with Florida Panther. Uh-oh. And look, it's got one that's been stuffed. Okay. <laughs> Okay, he's been mounted. Okay. So Janelle from Oklahoma, she works for the Eastern Shawnee Tribe. Their seal has a black panther on it. Just, I'm relaying that message. and But she also sent this picture, which is... That's actually the, the Mexican jaguar. That don't even look like a cat. Oh, no, no, that no. It looks like a cat's body with a no. dog's face no, or no, something. That, like, what that, is that? That's the actual maximum jaguar. This needs to, we need to do a segment called Bad Taxidermy. Uh, <laughs> well, hey. Because I see it all the time. And very some, interested. Some people are so proud, and I'm like, wow. I think it's the maximum jaguar because I see, like, spots I, in, it, in the coat, and especially around his face. <laughs> it's, it looks like it's a bear. No, it ain't no bear. It's a bear's face. It ain't no bear face. That is a bear's face. That ain't no bear's face. Hey, and for the record, she works for Eastern Shawnee, the tribe. Yes. Like, so look. So she's, a she's not a member, but she does. No, she's not, but she works I for. Them. See but details, she's their seal right. has a black panther on. In fairness, whenever that actually looks like it's part wolf. That's what I'm saying. It yeah. looks like a it, hodgepodge yeah. of things. Like yeah. The face, now that I've looked up closer, that looks like that's a wolf. something you see in vampire movies. Yeah, that's not <laughs> right. <laughs> that's I, I just, but again, I think it could just be a case of bad taxidermy. Like, well, that could be. Hey, hey my buddy does taxidermy on the no, side because no, hey, they don't get it right. That's what all you get. Time. They you don't know? get it right every time. They went and found, uh, you know, I don't know, I'm not even gonna go there. But the Shawnee, when they were here, in fairness. As a tribe, there were probably black jaguars and the the jaguarundi or whatever from Mexico and all that. Yeah. They, those were probably more prevalent. I would say. So he, I'm not going to yeah. say that them having that on their seal is an impossibility or ludicrous because, I mean, I actually believe that when they were running around the United States, before it was the United States, when it was just their home, that those probably were, were I would around. Say that, I, would I say. don't think he was ever there. No. <laughs> That, that, well, that's a that's a coyote that, face. Nah, ain't no coyote. Hey, I'm telling you, that's some kind of Mexican jaguar. What it is? No. Oh, is, my bad, Stone. Yeah, that's some kind of jaguar. I'm telling you, it's just bad taxidermy. Yeah, 
It's, it's like it they took a cat it's, it's form. It's not a good mount. So it's that's foul. what I'm saying. Yeah. Like it's like they had a cat body yeah. for the form. Yeah. But they were out of cat heads in the form and stretched it over a dog's head or something. Like you know, a coyote a or mixture. a wolf. Mixture. Yeah, yeah. Like it's Why like it yeah. Yeah, they just like Frankenstein did at the taxidermy shop. I'm telling you, though, that's that's Jaguar. <laughs> like, that's the, the, ears, the ears would be a cat, obviously, yeah. but the face and, is not. Whatever the they eye. wrapped it around and is the not eyes. a cat. And the eyes are cat. Yeah, well, I don't know about that. Sweet Those pea, are that's sweet pea's eyes. I ain't ever got that <laughs> close to Except they're not that big. Yeah. But a cat's eyes are vertical. Like that, Those look like dilated pupils. But I, I saw don't. a video yesterday of a guy turkey hunting. With the Florida Panther? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Florida when he done, Panther yeah. coming up on that decoy. Uh huh. That's cool, wasn't it? The NWTF posted it. Yeah, I saw that. That was awesome. That sounds terrifying. Oh, no, no, oh, look. It's definitely terrifying. Oh, no, no, look. I awesome said, all I, the same I think yeah. one of the coolest things I've seen is I, a bobcat hit a guy. He's sitting against a tree doing it. Bark, 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 you know? And the next thing, hey, the camera and the man are rolling. And look, this thing tore the guy's head up with his eat you know, with his teeth and his claws. That's why you stay out of cat country. Oh no, no, no. Why you stay hey, out of cat country, man. They was turkey hunting and hey, one a bobcat heard him and come and just nailed him, son. <laughs> nailed Ripped his head, you know, it took like twenty, forty stitches on his head. He must have been good on turkey call. Oh no, he, he must was. Have been real. Oh, yeah. sounded pretty good just then. Yeah. Yeah. All right, John um, and but I do. I think you just stumbled upon something. Mark. Bad taxidermy. No, no, no it's yeah. bad taxidermy. It I is. would like to, in sometime in the next month or so, do a full segment on <laughs> bad taxidermy. <laughs> bad taxidermy. <laughs> so please, please oh, send oh, me pictures. Oh no, hey, I get somewhere to send you to. Go out uh, toward the uh, uh, the learning center. Are you I'll talking about Magoo? Huh? Magoo's? No, no, the learning center with Matt Owens. Matty Owens. With an S. Okay. The Learning Center. Okay, the there's a, a light and there's a shop right there to the right. Magoo's. And, and well, it may be Magoo's. Yeah, I see. But it. he's got all kind. He's got a bunch of bad taxi and stuff. <laughs> that's his business, it's, man. No, no. Well, I'm just saying. No, no. I'm just saying that's a lot of old stuff in there. <laughs> he's got a lot of bad taxi. Well, Magoo no, no, did my dear. Hey, look, it's old. He's, he's and, actually hey, pretty good. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. But hey, he's got a collection of some I'm weird stuff. I'm saying some of the stuff in his shop is very, very old and. And when it gets old, it, it loses it's, hair it's and everything strange. out. Yeah. Strange. And it looks funny. Okay. <laughs> Exotic. It, yeah. Well, no, no, I'm just saying there's a lot of stuff in that. There's a lot of old stuff in that store. Oh, yeah. We're going to start okay. on Mr. Magoo. And I ain't stuff. talking about the man the bad taxi driver. I just said, yeah. hey, he's got a lot of old we stuff We need to have him that. on here. That would you know? be interesting. Yeah. No, no. I'm serious. Since you said we're going to do something about it, why is that? There's Willie the, normally owed the money. That's a good though. start. I don't work. Okay. I don't work for Willie anymore, so I'm more interested now. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, bad taxidermy. Send me pictures. Yeah, y'all know y'all. Y'all know y'all got some. Preferably oh, yeah. of something in your house, wives. If you have a deer mount in your house that you oh. know is bad, that your husband yeah. thinks is good, send yeah. it in. I we'll can go find some of my early ducks that are boy. That Hold bad. on. Boy, I had nightmares when I was a kid about the wampus cat. <laughs> Uh, wampus cat. Wampus you remember cat. Mr. Mayo's barbershop uh -huh. over here? He had a wampus cat in there. A wampus cat. But when I was a little kid, I didn't know any better. I thought it was real. But what it was was a butt end of a deer mm -hmm. with a coyote skull in coming out the butt. <laughs> and yep. it was one of the scariest looking <laughs> things you've ever seen. <laughs> that's, that's oh, good. yeah. You can buy them that's, anywhere now. That's, oh, no, no, oh, no. Yeah. But he was talking about that. I was thinking about the, the big rabbit, okay, that's got deer antlers. Oh, the know. jackalope? Yeah, oh, the he jackalope. had one of them, too. Yeah, the yeah. jackalope, yeah. yeah, okay. The wampus cat. Yeah. Yeah, what is a chup cat. chup or or whatever? Chupacabra. 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 Yeah. Chupacabra. Chupacabra. Yeah, hey, they, Texas got a bunch of chupacabras that, that they've got mounted. Yeah, oh, it goes yeah. good with ice cream. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, yeah. that's a dessert, man. The chupacabra. Uh, chupacabra. Oh, I love a good no, chupacabra. Oh, oh, chupacabra. <laughs> you put vanilla. Hey, a lot of chupacabras are good. Uh, <laughs> we on a roll back now. Back, Let's keep going. Yeah, backbreak cobbler. 
Vince oh. Cobbler. Oh, and the cupola cobbler. We just needed that weird <laughs> panther thing. Oh, boy. That's wild, man. It took us 50 minutes. We finally got it. We one. finally hey, got it. That's Cheaper fine. cobblers. Look, yeah. hey, you always go out on a high note. So oh, yeah. on that note, Johnny D, what's our Bible verse? Yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's leave it while we're laughing. Yeah. <laughs> the Chupa cobbler. Well, Cy was mentioned earlier, why would you want to air out your dirty laundry and anything wrong you've ever done? And Phil's doing that with this movie. Super respectable for him to do it, but mm-hmm. I, I think I know why he's doing it. Confession. Nope, not confession. It's good for the soul. But that is true. But I'm going for it right here in sec- in 2 Corinthians. Uh, 2 Corinthians. Chapter second, 12. Second, both of them. Yeah, 2 um, Corinthians and 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians and 12 and I've others. Lost it. It's Uh-oh. at the beginning. But he said to me, this is verse 9, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. If you go see that movie in September, yeah, there's a lot of screwing up. Yeah, there's a lot of mistakes made in Phil's life. But he's boasting about where he's at now, yeah. not because of what he did, but because of what because Christ Jesus did through him. changed him. him. And yep. that is the reason to talk about yep. your dirty laundry. Yep. Whenever you're saying, this is what I was, this is what I am now, and it's all because of the power of God and what Jesus did for me. Amen. Right. Love there it. You go. We'll see y'all next time right here in the duck call room. Duck. We're out. Chupra cobbler, boy. Chupra cobbler.